Moving on to the other big, potentially big explosive Congress versus BJP story, the Panama Papers leak. Now, Arun Jaitley, the finance minister, spoke out. <clears throat> and finance minister Arun Jaitley is facing flak for his proximity to one person named in the leaked Panama Papers. Finance minister hit out at the Congress, which has been demanding that he recuse himself from the probe as he is close to that one person who has been named in the expose. Jaitley said that an impartial and a multi-agency probe is on and when the details of the investigation come out, the Congress will not have many reasons to celebrate. It's a veiled threat. The Congress and the Aam Aadmi Party have been demanding Jaitley's resignation ever since the leaked Panama Papers exposed the alleged offshore tax haven holdings of Indian citizens. <clears throat> Okay, there is a very impartial probe going on, it's a multi-agency probe and when the details uh, will come out, the Congress will not have many reasons to celebrate. And uh, if somebody is dissatisfied, I'm sure the courts will take notice of it. CBI ultimately has to go to court, either file a charge sheet or otherwise. Joining us this morning is uh, Congress Party spokesperson, former Minister for Information and Broadcasting, Mr. Manish Tiwari. Mr. Tiwari, thanks very much for speaking to India today. Now, my point is, there is there seems to be a sort of a veiled threat war going on between the Congress and the BJP over the Panama Papers. Why doesn't the Congress party come out clean on what its basic allegation is against Mr. Arun Jaitley so that you can have a clean reaction from him also? Because he says that Congress will not have a reason to celebrate if this probe goes on. Well, it's very obvious from the finance minister's statement that he seems to be almost threatening that the Panama Papers will now be manufactured in Delhi by the Dirty Tricks Department of the BJP and the agencies of this government. That is precisely why uh, we have been saying that there is no faith or trust in any instrumentality or agency of the government going by the track record of the past 22 months, whereby agencies have been misused, abused for political purposes, by this uh, government. Coupled with that, of course, is the larger question that there are allegations in the public space that a gentleman whose name has surfaced uh, in the Panama Papers, he is ostensibly uh, close to the powers that be in this government. So therefore, under those circumstances, the only and only agency which should be probing the uh, Panama Papers and especially that banknote currency scam mm. which took place in 2002-2003 when the NDA was in government is a Supreme Court monitored uh, special investigation team. Okay, uh, Mr. Tiwari, uh, India Today's Ashar Ahmed Khan has a question for you. Yes, uh, Manish, one specific question. What will the Congress party do if in those 500 names there is a Congress leader whose name figures in those lists in Panama Papers? Well, if wishes were horses, we could write them, uh, Mr. Ashar Khan. I think with all your experience of reportage, you know that uh, spokespersons do not answer hypothetical questions. Why is this insinuation being made? Why is this conjecture being alleged? What if there is uh, something in those papers? It almost seems as if some people are privy to the papers being allegedly manufactured to implicate uh, certain people connected with a certain political dispensation. I'm sorry, I find that question to be absolutely offensive. Uh, we need to deal with the facts as they stand on the ground. And the facts as they stand on the ground reveal linkages okay. between the powers that be and uh, and, 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 and people uh, who, whose names have surfaced in the Panama leaks. Okay, Mr. Manish Tiwari, many thanks for joining us uh, this morning. We also have Rajesh Pandey joining us uh, uh, on the phone line. Rajesh, uh, what is the BJP's response? The BJP's response on the allegations that the Congress is making? Well, you know, the BJP is saying that uh, the Congress has uh, nothing substantial uh, allegation against uh, uh, the finance minister. They are saying that, uh, you know, that the conduct of the uh, finance minister has uh, till now been above par. And all these uh, allegations which the Congress and the Ahmadmi Party are alleging against uh, uh, Arun Jaitley is, is basically politics. They also, uh, you know, say that uh, uh, they merely repeated what the finance minister said, that they are saying that uh, the bunch of papers, uh, the bulk of papers are yet to come. And, uh, and uh, please hold your comments till, the, or till all papers are available. There could be very well a very big reason for the BJP to go on offensive uh, once all papers are released in the Panama tax haven case. Thank you.
Okay, Rajesh Pandey, many thanks for joining us uh, with all the latest. Another news uh, coming in and a tragic one. Uh, once again, a bus has uh, rolled down into Chenab River in Jammu and Kashmir's uh, Doda district. Five uh, commuters have been killed on the spot. Dozen others.